All right, welcome to podcast number six from chapter 10. And in this podcast, we're going to focus on the last two phases of mitosis, and that would be anaphase and telophase. All right, but first, let's just re review the first ones that happened. All right, the first phase was prophase. And in the prophase, remember, the chromosomes coiled up, the nuclear envelope uh, broke down, The centrioles, they went to the poles, so I'm just going to abbreviate that here, and the spindle formed. So a lot of stuff happens in prophase, that's why it's one of the longest. All right, and the next one here, the second step, step is metaphase. In metaphase, basically the chromosomes line up in the middle. All right. So that brings us here to uh, anaphase. Now in anaphase, the primary feature is that the chromosomes are going to separate from each other. So we're going to review our chromosome structure. So the chromosome has this kind of X shape. And then this little spot right here that I wrote in red, that's the centromere. And that is the protein that holds this, these two chromatids together. Let me just draw a line here and remind you on this one. Those are the chromatids. And that the centromere up here, this is the protein Velcro that holds the chromatids together. And then on the outside, you've got a flat disk of protein, and this is called the kinetochore. And then emanating out from the kinetochore are going to be spindle fibers that attach to it. All right, so this should just be a review from a previous podcast. All right, now this is all going to come into play on the next picture that's going to show up. All right, now, what happens during anaphase, let's get this right up here, move it up on the screen. Okay, you just want to remember that in anaphase, the chromosomes move apart, or ana moved away. And as you can see right here, here's one chromosome, and I'm going to put a little dot right there. So we'll make those black so it stands out a little bit more. These are the kinetochores, and these kinetochores are attached to the spindle. And what this kinetochore is doing is it is chewing its way down here. Now, if you watch this on a video or something, it looks like these spindles are pulling it down like a rope. But actually, the kinetochore is chewing its way there, and I always imagine it as Pac-Man because it's going waka, 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 waka until it gets down here to the centrioles. Now, what's really important and cool about anaphase is, as you can see here, the genetic material is being div divided completely in half so that each of these new daughter cells that will be created are going to get one of each of these chromosomes. And this is the way that you ensure that each cell is going to have a complete set of DNA. So just remember that anaphase, ana means, ana means away or ana moves apart. The chromosomes are moving away from each other. Now telophase is actually essentially the opposite of prophase. So if you think about what stuff that happens in prophase, the chromosomes coiled up in prophase, in telophase they're going to uncoil. And in prophase the nuclear envelope broke down, in telophase it's going to reform. And then the spindle was being formed during prophase, in telophase it's going to break down because we don't need them anymore. All right? So as you can look over here in this picture, you can see that these chromosomes will eventually begin to uncoil and they'll just be long threads of DNA. Notice that there's very little spindle fibers left anymore, so they're beginning to, bro to be broken down. And then the nuclear envelope, as it says right here, it's beginning to reform. Now there's something also interesting that's happening in this picture, and this will be the focus of our next podcast. You see this little indentation right there, and then there's another one right there. This is showing you the beginning of cytokinesis. And cytokinesis is the actual term in a eukaryotic cell where the cell itself is going to begin to divide. So this is the beginning of the fission. And actually this indentation has a special name. It's called a cleavage furrow. All right? In a cleavage furrow, cleavage is a word that means cut. So you're beginning to cut the cell in half. All right, that will conclude this podcast. Stay tuned for future episodes.